Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you are well. Let's look, dive into the Sussex robot team today. The Sussex robot division led by, allegedly by a certain individual, which I'm not going to mention. I don't want to mention his name. It's like, uh, what's the guy? It's, it's, what's the guy in Lord of the Rings? Sauron. You don't mention the name, right? It's like the black speech of Sauron. You know, the ring, you don't want to mention the ring and, and read the inscription of the ring in its language that it's written because, you know what I mean? It's like that. I'm not going to mention the, the individual, but we're going to have a look because it's all over the media now that this is uh, become an issue, that there's massive attacks happening on the royal family that are being directed, being directed. So we are going to find out who is behind this. Who is behind this? Who is behind this? Someone here, someone wrote me an email saying that uh, about the course, the depossession course, that uh, when they were going to get the course, uh that they they were being told like in their they were being whispered to by an entity that the invocation brings in demonic entities <laughs> you gotta be so careful they're so tricky you got these these entities are so tricky honestly the lies they tell so they went ahead did the course and the voices in the head completely stopped that was the end of it like yeah so that's good no she didn't have any dreams so that's i mean that's actually a good sign um, that it kind of had a very, like, it's a good thing, a very low level problem. Like the voices stopped, no dreams. Hey, good stuff. So yeah, I mean, you had something around you influencing you. How many thoughts did that person have that weren't their own? Think about it. This whole idea of spirit guides is such a f really loaded issue. It's so, uh, I mean, spirit guides were called familiars. You know what I'm saying? Like the cats, people, you know, the cats or whatever, the witches had the cats, like a familiar, right? It's it's a term known in witchcraft, right? You know what I'm saying? And that's an entity. It's like an etheric entity that's working with them, right? So, you know, you do the invocation, the entity goes away. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not there. Like, they love people to sort of partner with them, but they end up serving the entity over time. They're very tricky. Very tricky. Now, of course, I'm not saying, claiming this person's done any of that, but... I mean, it's the same concept. I'm just applying it in a more extreme circumstance. Does that make sense? It makes sense, right? It makes sense. So let that all be known. We're going to dive into this Sussex robot question. Are these Sussex bots being bought and paid for? Let's have a look. I mean, I, I think we all know the answer, but it's uh, it's a very interesting, a very interesting situation. Very, very interesting situation. I'm working on the uh, the, the curse breaking course at the moment. Uh, you know, it's it, curses and hexes are done with malevolent entities right so that's the thing there's like a there's like a basically it's like a 5g radio tower that sits in the spirit world once that happens and it's just popping that information out constantly 24 7 for those entities to work on it uh so you, those things have to be de destroyed in the spiritual realm uh and uh it just so happens i've got a lot of experience doing that uh, with as I've had an ongoing problem with someone doing that to me on a daily basis in Australia. So let that be known. I'll name names at some point, don't you worry. I'll name names and I'll tell you all the story at some point, but a uh, very, very sick individual, I'll tell you what. I think he's a bit demented, to be honest with you. And it, it's like he's kind of lived his life destroying people's lives with black magic and he's getting frustrated now after one year, no progress with me. So yeah, he's kind of... He's stuck now. It's like an addiction. I, I've got to destroy this person. I put so much time and effort into it. Horrible, horrible set of circumstances. Imagine ending up like that. You've got to be so careful the paths we take, right? This the paths we take. There's no neutral ground with any of this because once you start practicing these things, the entities come straight away, right? I'm talking about witchcraft, right? There's no middle ground. There's no gray area. You're just you're gonna you're gonna draw entities to you, and if you don't have the power to get rid of them, you're gonna be you're gonna have a lot of problems. And what's the, you know, it's, it's, it's way easier than you think. You start getting candles out, doing little spells or whatever. You know, you start, you know, tying a few knots. The entities in the unseen see what you're doing, right? And they all feel like, oh, oh, really? <laughs> you like a bit of black magic, do you? You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to do, I mean, you got to, you put in, even if you open yourself up, like, I want to do automatic writing, right? What do you think's coming to tell you that stuff? You know what I'm saying? Who do, what do you think's coming, like, in the, in the spirit world to tell you, like, Things that may or may not be true. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you got to be careful. Temperance. You got to be very careful. We want to deal with exactly this. You want to deal with angelic entities with the temperance card. High beings, two of swords. So are they being paid? This is the question. Page of cups, page of wands, 
Seven of coins, four of coins, a lot of coins coming up here. Are they being paid? Wow, interesting question, because it looks like they're being served. They're serving someone with these page cards. So they're, they're like, it's like a servant energy. It's like a, you know, they're, they're sort of working for them, in other words. I mean, we have a two of swords, which is interesting. But then again, we have some pentacles here. So to me, it looks like they, there is money involved here, but they're being paid at the moment. Hmm, what's going on? Strange. Strange. Are they not being paid? what they're owed what's going on with the payment system here <laughs> i mean are they are they being are they, are they looking at money but are they actually being paid so has money changed hands in the past well here we go imagine that you hire people oh are they bots are they all bots interesting okay are they actually real people or are they robots who's who's doing this on the whole like do we have a massive sussex squad of of real people or is it just a real massive large number of robots ai systems you know what i'm saying program them they say the same thing over and over again on different channels is that what it is is it it's is it a is it an ai thing okay is it ai bot driven cards are hot oh the empress then we have the moon. Then we have the six of cups. Oh, page of wands. There's this page again in the high priestess. The tower. Right, so we have... Do we have AI systems happening at the moment? I don't think we do so much. I think we have things happening in secret. There's a woman behind this that's running this here with the empress. There's a woman. It's like a queen of the Sussex squad. And... You know what? I'm going to say that a lot of this is actually not being paid. I, I don't know. It sounds crazy. A lot of this is not... It doesn't look like it's all AI. Maybe I'm sure that's happening to an extent, but it looks like a lot of this is driven by... Um, I mean, secret. It's happening all in secret, right? Secret, behind the scenes. And it's happening like... Um, you know, through, through sort of like affiliation... So it's like a cult, in other words, you know, it, it, it kind of like that energy. It's like there's a cult leader, there's a cult directive. It's a lot of secret stuff happening behind the scenes, you know, all of that. I know a few cults. There's quite a few cults around, actually. But it looks like this is Sussex Squad cult. That's what I'm seeing. It looks like the Sussex Squad is a cult. I'll write that down. Sussex Squad cult. Good to talk about it later. Sussex. Sussex. All right, fix that up later. So, you know, I think there's an element of that coming in here of, you know, sort of, you know, you've got to remember the Batman movie, right? When the Joker, this is Heath Ledger's Joker. He, when Who did he get? He got people from like insane asylums to help him, right? People that are mentally unstable. And they worked for free out of ideology, right? You know, so it's kind of interesting. You don't always need uh, that. So, okay, is anyone being paid? And who, like, is anyone being paid to organize this? Or is this just more of a sort of, you know, like a, a cult thing. Is anyone being paid at all? I mean, it looked like there was money changing hands, or at least money on the table, or something to do with money. Let's clarify. Is any, any, anyone being paid over this? Cards are hot. Oh, look at this card. Two of swords again. Underlying energy. Someone asked the other day, what's the story with underlying energy? You knew what it was before it's picked, right? So I shuffle the cards and I can see the underlying energy, right? And I can call it out, right? Underlying energy comes from the bottom of the deck. So top of the deck are the main cards. Four of Cups. Has anyone been paid? Uh, Page of Wands. This is the sort of servant people. Nine of Swords. The Chariot. Temperance. There's no money changing hands. So maybe the Four of Coins is they're talking of that sort of holding on to the money they're not making payments or they're just not paying people i don't think people are being paid to go out and fight i think it's an ideological battle people are disappointed maybe they expected to be paid maybe there's a sort of issue there i guess i don't know if you want to join the sussex squad just make sure you get paid up front i guess so is there anyone in this audience that wants to sort of tell me you know to tell us in the crowd 
in the comments below that they may have worked for the Sussex squad at some time and what their experience was. Does anyone sort of want to talk about that? It'd be interesting. I think uh, if you if that's you, let it be known. I, d I don't think there would be anyone, but, you know, well, I think it's interesting. Okay, so are they using bots to do this? Is, is bots a big thing, a big focus here? Cards are hot. Hmm, death card. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, five of swords, yeah. The tower, prince of coins, ace of wands, the empress. Okay, so yeah, they were. Not anymore. It looks like the bots have been killed. Kill bots. The bots have been killed. Uh, it looks like they've been defeated on the bot front. Who knows? Maybe this was to do with Twitter, we should ask. When, uh, what's his name? Elon. Elon took over tweets. Then they killed the bots. That's what it looks like to me. That's what it looks like. There's people saying here. The people saying in the in the in the comments the other day. Oh, the the cheap shots at, at at Puff Daddy's name. Some people liked it. I think a lot of people had a laugh actually. Um, you know, it's cheap shots regarding. I thought it was funny. All right, I'm gonna make cheap shots of people's names. Why not have a laugh? Can't we have a laugh? Don't deny me my laugh. I think we all like to laugh on this show, don't we? We like to have a good time. So, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. I think Poofy Daddy was... Poofy... Poof, I think Poof Diddle was probably my favourite. <laughs> Poof Diddle. Poof Diddle. Oh, boy. It's happening. I know, it's too early. It's too early. What can I say? I'm just getting ahead of the game. And we had years of Epstein. Years. I think we just got to, like, jump in and get in there. All right, so... It looks like the bots have been killed. Were the bots on Twitter or being organised through Twitter... Cards are hot. Tweets. The Herm. The Temper. The Chariot. The Five of Wands and the Ten of Coins. The Lovers. The Lovers and the King of Wands. So, okay. There's a couple here and there's a man as well. And it's like the attack. The attack system seemed to be on Twitter. Like a lot of attacks going on here. There's a hidden element to it. A lot of conference, a lot of sort of, you know, online warfare basically sort of, I don't know, imagine going on, I don't know, is anyone on Twitter? I don't want to, I don't want to sort of say anything on Twitter. I mean, Twitter's just a shite fest, isn't it, really? I mean, it's just slinging, uh, just negative energy around. That's what Twitter seems to be. And it's so easy to do as well. You just get your little fingies out, boom, 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 throw some hate around, you know, get into some online arguments, work yourself up, you know, all that stuff. It's like a, it's like a intellectual boxing match, really, on Twitter, isn't it? That's what it is. Uh, I don't know. I'm not interested in Twitter. I'm not, I haven't been the keenest on Twitter, actually. I don't want to get involved in that. So, so let that be known. I, who wants to see? Someone left a comment the other day about the uh, energy readings, the photo energy readings. Who wants to see a photo energy reading and on what? Just let it be known. I'll, I'll do one. I want to do one another, another one. It's going to be interesting. So, I enjoyed the photo energy readings. I want to get back to it. It takes more time to do them, though. I've got to sit and focus on them and then record and all the rest of it. So... I've got to let it come. I can't just do it off the fly. Uh, I'm not going to make a joke out of that. All right. So it seems like, yeah, a lot of Twitter was being used. The King of Wands. Okay. So is that is there still a relationship between certain individuals that may have been using Twitter to do this? And maybe let's ask another question. Are the Sussexes involved in this Sussex squad activity or are they just hands clean? You know what I'm saying? Like, do they know about it? Are they encouraging it? Are they, you know, I don't know, funding it or, you know, organizing it or involved with it in any way? Or is it just this organic, you know, hate sort of machine that follows them around? I, <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Is there an organic hate machine going on here? Cards are hot. What is it? Uh, page of Wands. Are they directing it? Two of Wands. 
Ten of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Woman again, Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. Right, so we have... Uh, there's a woman here. It's like a partnership energy, partner, partnering with the certain individuals. Like the servants, right? We're talking about the servants again coming up here with the Page of Wands. Family energy. Family. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Pushing the narrative. Push, 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 push. Kill, 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 kill. Kill stories. Push narratives. You know, difficult ones. Uh, what are the main agendas? Okay, so maybe. What are the main agendas with uh, this... Um, this, of the squad. What's their main agenda of the squad? The squad. I wonder how many uh, squaddies we're going to get today. I'm just going to have to up the up the uh, Met Foreman tomorrow on the channel. Oh, hang on. Actually, you know what would be a better joke? Isn't Ozempic, Ozempic used for diabetes? We'll up the Ozempic tomorrow. I think that's more relevant to the, uh, to the, to the, the condition. What's the, what are their goals of the Sussex squad? Cards are hot. Justice. Oh, the Hermit. The Temperance again. Oh, interesting. Dilute stories. Yeah, five of coins. The the Moon. Oh, look at this. The Three of coins and the Devil. Why not? The Empress. Oh, the Devil Swear Jar. Where's the Devil's? Where's the Swear Jar? Not the only swear jar on YouTube, so I hear... I mean, it's the biggest compliment, honestly. The, the people copy my channel. They, you know, copy the merch. Almost copy the channel name. You know, the devil swear jar. You know, jump on every... You know, every... I'm a thought leader. What can I say? I'm a natural leader. I mean, it's it's evident now, folks. It's, I've been... I'm too humble to admit it, but sometimes. But oh, people are following me. What can I say? I mean, no, no originality, but okay. I enjoy it. What else? I'll do something else next, and they'll all do it as well. What can I say, folks? Lord of the Orbs. Lord of the Orbs. So, okay. What's the main objective? To remain in secret. I'll just remove those cards for a second. Secrecy. Secrecy. Occult activity. Occult. No, not. I'm not talking about other readers making not magic on other readers. I'm not talking about that type of occult activity. Like a spell, right? When it's, it's black magic, but all right. We'll call it a spell. Um, all right. We'll call it a spell. So... Uh, you know, it's it's about it's about um, just social justice, I guess. Justice. It's about revenge. It's about justice. It's about evening the score. You know, it's about this and that. But also, here's an element of dealing with the devil here, with the three of coins and the devil card. We were talking about this before. Sometimes people inadvertently get involved with negative people and negative entities, and they don't even know it. It's this is like a thing. It's like you got to be so careful what path you take in life, what doors we knock on. You know, because there's people there that are just, I mean, look at this sort of thing. They're, they're, they've, these people are now serving this person. And what, for free? For free? Really? For, for free? What do they get? Like a, you know what those award shows, they get like a $20,000, you know, gift bag or whatever. What do they get? Like a, you know, like a $20 dollar shop gift bag a month or something. I mean, I don't know what it is. I mean, they're trying to, what's this, hurt people? I don't know. For the five of coins, try to cause some harm. Dilute stories, get revenge, and look at this, the, the ringleader, the empress, there's a woman that runs this, that heads this up. It's uh, like Charlie's Angels, but it's not um, Charlie, of course, it's uh, someone else, it's a woman, a woman in the devil card. So yeah, what's this African charity that I keep hearing? African Parks, excuse my ignorance, but I have no idea what they're talking about on that. No idea whatsoever. So, right. Fluffy Puffy. Fluffy Puffy Duda. I mean, I could read the names, honestly. So people had such a uh, fun time with the names. Fiddly Diddly. That was good. Good one, Kaz. Good one. I enjoyed that. Fiddly Diddly. Poofy Diddy. Poof Diddle. I think Poof Diddle was my favorite. Uh, Poof, Poof Diddy. Poof Diddy had me in stitches. Okay, yeah. That's right. Diddy's Diddy has been puffed. <laughs> Uh, this is a very serious matter and it's not laughable. Uh, P. Diddley and uh, a certain acquaintance could both end up in prison. Far out. Far out. What do you know? You br you know, you break the law, you go to jail. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I mean, wow, they'll probably get up to a lot of illicit activity in jail. Probably nothing will change. Probably have to put him in solitary confinement, or so it's not much of a uh, 
it's not much of a punishment for them, probably. <laughs> yeah, let it be known. Let that be known. Uh, yeah. So. Who's this? Listen, who's this person here? Who's this person? Wow. I don't want to read that comment. It's a negative comment. I'm not going to read that one out. I'm not going to echo that into the universe. Is that... Do we get the devil card again? Did I just do the... Did I just do the devil card thing? Uh, the, the swear jar? I think I did. But let me know if I didn't. But yeah, I mean, we're having a good time today, aren't we? Clearly having a good time. Clear as day. I will love you and leave you. Looking forward to seeing you in the next episode. See you in the comments.